In this video, we're going to go through our product setup. So what you need to do is up here you see the seller's dashboard. You need to go there. Okay, so once you're in here, you can add a product. So click over here where it says add a product that's free. Okay, and this is where we do our product setup. So we have our basic information, which of course is our product name, the price or maximum price. The difference being you can set a price of $17 and your product will always sell for $17. Now if you want to use a dime sale you could put $17 there as your maximum price and then we can fill out the dime sale stuff that we'll get to in a couple of minutes here. Okay so of course first you're going to need to have a product in mind. Okay so we'll use Randall account on page generator and then we'll set our maximum price, let's say at $17.99. So that's our maximum price because I am going to do a dime sale here. Now you can also have a total quantity if you want. So you can limit the number of quantity that you're going to sell. If you leave a blank course, then you're going to be able to sell as many as you want. The percent we're going to pay for commission, say 50%. Okay, so we put our support email in there. Now, sales page. If you have your own sales page uploaded, then you put the URL in here, just like everywhere else. But they have a nice feature here called the JVZoo Instant Sales Page. And you can create your sales page right on JVZoo, so you don't have to host anything anywhere. You can do it all on here. Okay, and it says here, you create your sales page on the next page. Delivery method, protected download, which are built in. So you can have one protected download file of up to 50 meg. Now, if it's bigger than that, or if you have multiple download files, then you're going to have to create a thank you page. But usually this is going to do it for you. Okay, and then allow sales, yes or no. We'd set this to no right now because we're not done. And show in the marketplace, we're going to set this to no, again, because we're not done. Return policy down here in days, minimum is 45. Okay, so then we go up to the other side, integrate with autoresponder, select the autoresponder in here, and this list may have more in it as time goes by. So we just put our list email in there now. Each list has its own email address, just put it in there. It'll integrate with your autoresponder. Making it a dime sale. Okay, the idea behind a dime sale is you start it at a lower price and you increase the price every so many sales. You can increase it every one sale, every 10 sales, however you want to do it. So let's say we're going to start it at $8.99 and we're going to increase it 10 cents per sale. So you can do it like that. Or you could say $1 for 10 sales. You can do it any way you want. This is a great way to give some urgency to, for people to purchase it so that they don't have to pay a higher price. Okay, now they also have this set up a JV. So you can have a joint venture partner where you pay them a higher commission than you pay your normal affiliates. This might be something you might do with super affiliates or somebody that has a big list. You'd want to give them a higher percentage. So you don't have to change the percentage on your whole product. You can just set them to the partners you want. Now, one-time offer, this is an upsell. So what you do is you give it a product name here, the price, and the commission amount. Now, you have to host it at this time on a sales page that is on your own URL. And then again, you have to tell it your delivery method. You can have them protect your download for you, or you can have your own thank you page. And external program integration, this is to communicate with other programs that are using the instant payment notification from PayPal. You can do a post to them from JBZoo so that it triggers an event on your other script. Okay, so at this point, your main product is set up. I'm going to come back to a one-time offer 
in the next video and I'll show you how to integrate that further. Okay, so at this point we click Save Product. Okay, so you see here we have our product. Uh, we can upload our product files and create a landing page. We also have over here where we can edit the product and we can go back in and add an affiliate contest. Affiliate contests are a way that you can get affiliates to do uh, mass promotion for you. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is go to Upload Product Files. Okay, so here what we do is very simple. Just browse for it on your computer and then upload it. Simple as that. Okay, and there it is. Now, you can remove the file here if it doesn't work for some reason, and you can click on it and test the download. So you could download it and then make sure that it isn't corrupted. Okay, back to the seller's dashboard. Okay, so now this is where you can create your sales page. Now remember, I chose this option. I could have used one on my own domain as well. However, if you don't have your own domain and hosting account, you can use their landing page right here. So let's create our landing page. And all we do here is basically set it up the way we want it. Now, we have everything in here that we need. We can just do an edit here. Okay, and then it comes up with different parts here. Our, our page title, made a description, and our keywords for search engines. The background color of the page. If we want to enable Facebook, you can enter your Facebook ID in there. And then you have a WYSIWYG editor here, and they show you how it should be laid out. Okay, so you can just go through this and do it the way you want. Now, you can also switch to HTML mode here. If you click on Source, it switches to HTML. So if you already have your own sales page, but you just want to host it on here, you can plunk it into this part here. Okay, so I pasted the HTML from a sales page I already had in here. And then I set the background color of the table here to black. And it's got a color picker here. Okay, I'm not going to bother right now with the meta keywords. But all I need to do now is put my product title and description in here. Okay, now let's just save the landing page. Okay, so here it is. Okay, now what we need to do is put our payment button on it. So let's do a preview here. And here's what it's going to look like now outside of the editor. Okay, now what we need to do is go to buy buttons. Okay, and then you can pick from one of these buy buttons here. So we can, whichever one you want, okay, you can just go through. Pick the one you want. Now, this is a good one to use for the dime sale because it tells them how many more they have at the certain price you're charging. So let's take this one and we're going to use the HTML. But if you're posting in a forum, and this integrates with the Warrior Special Offer form, you would use BB Code. Okay, so there we have our buttons. Back to the dashboard. Okay, back to the sales page. Okay, and then we need to edit it. And go back to source. Now I could have actually it was already on here I accidentally wiped it out when I went to the HTML but it actually automatically put your payment button in there okay so let's put it right here let's paste it in there save okay now we should actually center that so let's go back to edit and just click on it and then click the button up here to center it. Like so. Okay, and there we are. Our payment button's on. Okay, so that's how you can set up 
your own web page. Okay, so now what we have to do is click verify to verify our payment link is on there. And you'll see now that it's verified. So it's now all ready to sell and listed on JVZoo. Okay, so at this point we have our main product set up. In the next video, I'm just going to show you how you can set up your one-time offer.